Good evening and welcome to Onslow County Schools Middle School Spelling Bee. Thank you for joining us this evening in celebration of the great work our students have exhibited in the classroom and at school level spelling bees. I am Rebecca Huggins, the 612 ELA content coordinator and my partner in crime is Stacy Horn. <laughs> the K-5 ELA content coordinator. We are in for an exciting evening as we watch students demonstrate their knowledge and ability to spell a diverse group of words. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize any OCS board members, district level um, supervisors, school level administrators in our audience this evening. Would you please stand? And thank you for being here to support our students. <laughs> I would also like to introduce Jennifer Neal, instructional coach at Stateside Elementary School, who will be our moderator and pronouncer this evening. Before introducing our judges and timekeeper, I'm gonna have each student introduce themselves and state their name and grade level and school. We will also present each student with their participation certificate and medal. Families, please feel free to take pictures. It's a good picture moment. Division. I'm from Northwoods Park Middle. My name is Robbie Hanson, and I'm from um, Northwoods Park Middle School. I'm Jabari James, and I'm from Hunters Creek Middle School. Hey. My name is Cannon Brinson, and I'm a seventh grader from Swansboro Middle School. My name is Landon Morin, and I'm from New Bridge Middle School. My name is Nick Smith, and I'm from Newbridge Middle School. My name is Layla Alexander, and I'm from Southwest Middle School. My name is Allison Christensen, and I'm from Northwood Park Middle School. My name is John Wollen. I'm from Dixon Middle School. My name is Nyla Thornton, and I'm from Hunts Middle School. My name is Abigail Campbell, and I'm from Jacksonville Commons Middle School. Jesse Alon, and I'm an eighth grader at Jacksonville Commons Middle School. My name is Jared Bechtel, and I'm at sixth grade at Newbridge Middle School. My name is Bailey Hollingsworth, and I'm from Southwest Middle School. With KJ Pena, and I'm from Hunters Creek Middle School. My name's Peter, and I'm from Swansboro Middle School. My name is Chandler Fontaine, and I'm from Swansboro Middle School. I will now go over the rules, so please note that they are also included in your program. So students have drawn numbers to determine their order for the competition. 
The moderator pronouncer will announce the word to be spelled and speak slowly and clearly without distorting the word, then uses the word in a sentence and says the word again. The speller listens carefully to the moderator and asks for the word to be repeated if necessary. Timing begins after the speller repeats the word or begins spelling. The speller will have 60 seconds to complete the spelling. If the speller does not begin spelling within 30 seconds, the timekeeper will give the speller a reminder to begin and the student will have 30 seconds to complete the spelling. The timekeeper shall keep a record of all students who have reached the 60 second time limit. If the speller begins to spell a word and recognizes an error, the speller may stop, indicate they are restarting, and attempt to correctly spell the word. The speller's time will not restart from the time they realize the error. The error must be corrected prior to the completion of the spelling indicated by the last letter of the word. In a spelling round, the speller will make an effort to face the judges and pronounce the word for the judges before spelling it and after spelling it. The speller will make an effort to pronounce each letter distinctly and with sufficient volume to be understood by the judges. The speller may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the language of origin, and or provide an alternate pronunciation or pronunciations as listed on the pronouncer's competition list. The judges will not disqualify a speller for asking a question, for noting or failing to note the capitalization of a word or the presence of a hyphen or other form of punctuation, who in the process of spelling a word realizes a mistake has been made and pauses. Students must then restate the word so judges are informed the speller is attempting to self-correct. Once the speller completes the spelling and states the word, it will be considered a final spell. If the correct spelling was given, the speller remains in the competition and returns to his or her seat. If the spelling is incorrect, the speller is eliminated from the B. The moderator gives the correct spelling of the misspelled word. The speller will remain on the stage until the end of the round. At the end of the round, eliminated spellers will move to the reserved row of seating, or you can just go and sit with your family. Okay. Um, when three students remain in a round, all three spellers will remain on stage until the conclusion of the B. The final speller for first and second place must spell the given word correctly, plus one additional word to be declared the spelling champion. Contesting an answer must be made in writing and handed to the spelling bee coordinator before the end of the round. Please refer to the contest rules for more information. Interruptions during the event can be a distraction to the speller, moderator, and judges, so please follow these simple guidelines as an audience member during the bee. We ask that during the spelling bee, flash photography not be used. If you take photos without a flash during the bee, please take them from your seat. A group photo will be taken after, well, we already took the group photo, so you're good. We request cell phones are placed on silent and pagers are turned off during the bee. Children who are not participating in the bee are asked to sit quietly with their parents or guardian. Young children may have difficulty sitting through a spelling bee. If a young child becomes disruptive, please exit the, the auditorium and as soon as possible. To keep distractions to a minimum, please enter and exit only the area after the student has completed spelling his or her word. Applause for the spellers is acceptable at the end of each round. Applause for an individual speller is discouraged and causes disruption. Please hold your applause to the end of the round. Spelling participants have worked hard to reach this level of competition. Please extend participants the courtesy of not speaking or distracting them during the competition. At the end of the competition, trophies will be awarded to the first and second place winners. A trophy will also be awarded to the school of the first place winner. We have snacks that we provide, which will be provided to our students at the end of the spelling bee in little grab and go bags. So once the student reaches the microphone, they're gonna give the first word, use the word in a sentence and repeat the word. And this will continue until each student has given the opportunity to spell a word. If the spelling is incorrect, the speller is eliminated. The moderator gives the correct spelling and the moderator reads a new word to the next students. Okay, any questions? Everybody good? You guys ready? You ready? All right, speller number one, please. Ready? Shimmery. The fairy tale characters spun the straw into long gold shimmery ribbons. Shimmery. Shimmering. S H I M M E R I N G. Shimmering. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Thank you. Next speller, please. C. 
sitcom, our favorite Rose is Betty White's character, Rose Nyland, in the sitcom Golden Girls. Sitcom. Sitcom. S I T C O M. Sitcom. That is correct. Thank you. Basically, she is very perceptive, so she basically knows everything about you in two seconds. Basically. Basically. B A S I C L Y. Basically. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Thank you. Speller number four, please. Cringed. I cringed as my father took the stage to sing at the karaoke night. Cringed. Cringed. C R I N G E D. Cringed. That is correct. Thank you. Squabbling. It was hard to hear the TV with my twin brothers squabbling in the background. Squabbling. Can you repeat that? Certainly. Squabbling. It was hard to hear the TV with my twin brothers squabbling in the background. Squabbling. Squabbling. S Q U A B L I N G. Squabbling. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Thank you. Glib. She was careful to not sound too glib when she answered the man's impertinent question. Glib. Can I get the definition? Showing little forethought or preparation offhand. Glib, G-L-I-B, glib. That is correct, thank you. Sneer, the man acknowledged my presence with a condescending sneer, sneer. Sneer, S-N-E-E-R, sneer. That is correct, thank you. Texture. The wood had a rough, unfinished texture that scraped my hands. Texture. Texture. T-E-X-T-U-R-E. -E. Texture. That is correct. Thank you. Hedgehogs. There are 14 known species of hedgehogs and all prefer insects, but we'll settle for plant material. Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G-S. Hedgehogs. That is correct. Thank you. Archduke. The assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand incited the First World War. Archduke. Archduke. Uh, A R C H D U K E. Archduke. That is correct. Thank you. Clobbered. We clobbered them in our last game. Clobbered. Could you repeat the word 
please? Certainly. Clobbered. We clobbered them in our last game. Clobbered. Clobbered. C L O B E R D. Clobbered. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Thank you. Dire. If I don't pass this exam, my parents have warned me that there will be dire consequences. Dire. Can you repeat that, please? Certainly. Dire. If I don't pass this exam, my parents have warned me that there will be dire consequences. Dire. Dire. D-I-E-R. Dire. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Thank you. Rattled. After hearing the news, I was so rattled, my hands fairly shook. Rattled. Rattled. R-A-T-T-L-E-D. Rattled. That is correct. Thank you. Scuffle. The captain and the first officers. I'm sorry. Pause for a moment. The word is actually scuffled. The captain and the first officers scuffled with the prisoner for a few moments before they managed to get him in restraints. Scuffled. Scuffled. S-C-U-F-F-L-E-D. That is correct. Thank you. Revved. The cars revved their engines before the start of the race. Revved. Revved. R E V V E D. Revved. That is correct. Thank you. Gauze. The hat was swathed in a beautiful green gauze that was translucent against the midday sun. Gauze. Gauze. G A U Z E. Gauze. Correct. Thank you. Exception. There will be no exception to the rule that you will write your name on the paper. Exception. Exception. E X C E P T I O N. Exception. Correct. Thank you. And that is the end of the first round. If we will please clap for everyone now. Give me a moment to make sure I didn't mess something up. Okay, friends? If that was your first round and you will not be participating in the rest, you may join your family now, but please remember, it was a huge deal for you just to be on the stage to start off with, okay? So let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> woo, woo. Okay, you may join your families.
Okay, friends, are we ready? Okay. First speller, please. Hull. With its hull low in the water, the tanker moved out of the harbor. Hull. Hull. H U L L. Hull. Thank you. Cardigan. I like to wear a cardigan over my t-shirts in case I get cold. Cardigan. Cardigan. C-A-R-D-I-G-A-N. Cardigan. Thank you. Dormitories. On the sides are grouped buildings for each individual professor and dormitories for students. Dormitories. Dormitories. D-O-R-M-A-T-O-R-I-E-S. Dormitories. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Thank you. Next speller, please. Caverns. The caverns were covered in an array of beautiful stalactites. Caverns. Caverns. C A V E R N S. Caverns. That is correct. Thank you. Passers by. The blaze on Willow Lane was called in by some passers by who reported seeing the fire at eight that morning. Passers by. Passers by. P A S S E R S B Y. Passers by. Thank you. Savor. Slow down your eating, savor your food, and enjoy sharing life with family and friends. Savor. Savor. S-A-V-O-R. Uh, savor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Nudged. With that, he nudged the door open with his head and went in. Nudged. Nudged. Uh, N U D G E D. Nudged. Thank you. Elation. His elation increased at the sight of the little girl he had saved. Elation. Elation. E L A T I O N. Elation. Thank you. Furthermore, furthermore, in North Carolina, the governor has no veto power. Furthermore, can I get the definition, please? The definition? Certainly. In addition to what precedes. F-A-R-T-H-E-R-M-O-R-E. -R -E. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please have a seat. Epilepsy. My daughter was recently diagnosed with epilepsy and she has started taking medication to control her seizures. Epilepsy. May I get the definition? Certainly. Uh, 
Any of various disorders marked by abnormal electrical discharges in the brain and typically manifested by sudden brief episodes of altered or diminished consciousness, involuntary movements, or convulsions. Epilepsy. E P I L E P S Y. Epilepsy. Thank you. Citronella. We lit the citronella candles to avoid getting bit by mosquitoes. Citronella. Can I get the definition? Sure. A lemon scented grass of Southern Asia that yields an oil used in perfumery and as an insect repellent. Citronella. S I T R U N E L L A. I'm sorry. Thank you. Intermezzo. The audience praised the instrumental music, especially the intermezzo. 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 I N T E R M E Z Z O. Intermezzo. Thank you. That is the end of round two. If we would please clap for them. Great job, friends. If you would like to go have a seat with your family members or your friends that came with you. Excellent, friends. All right, first speller, please. Seismologist. By studying core samples taken from the ocean floor, a seismologist can predict the likelihood of a major quake occurring on this fault line. Seismologist. Could I get the definition, please? Certainly. A science that deals with earthquakes and with artificially produced vibrations of the earth. Seismologist. S I Z M O L. Oh, G-I-S-T, seismologist. I'm sorry, thank you. Bursary. A student nurse can get a sizable bursary to study for a degree. Bursary. Can you repeat that, please? Certainly. Bursary. A student nurse can get a sizable bursary to study for a degree. Bursary. Bursary. B-E-R-S-E-R-Y. Bursary. I'm sorry. Thank you. Apogee. The apogee of my happiness was when I married the love of my life last spring. Apogee. Apogee. A P O C H E E. Apogee. I'm sorry. Thank you. Freesia. She bowed her face over the flowers, the freesia, so sweet and spring-like, scarlet anemones flaunting over the table, freesia. Can you repeat that one time? One Certainly. Time. Freesia. She bowed her face over the flowers, the freesia, so sweet and spring-like, scarlet anemones flaunting over the table, freesia. Freesia. F R E E Z I A. I'm sorry, thank you. D 
duvet. I bought a single duvet for my son's bed. Duvet. Duvet. D U V E T. Duvet. Thank you. Kookaburra. In 2006, when the Queen was eager to see a kookaburra on a trip to Australia, Miss Kelly pranked her with a fake one. Kookaburra. Kookaburra. C O O C O O B A R A. Kookaburra. I'm sorry, thank you. Fondant. These fondant decorations are easy to master if you follow our simple step-by-step -step instructions. Fondant. Fondant. F-O-N-D-A-N-T. Fondant. Thank you. Murmuration. When you speak in a voice so low and soft, it's a murmuration, and I can't hear you. Murmuration. May you repeat that? Certainly. Murmuration. When you speak in a voice so low and soft, it's a murmuration, and I can't hear you. Murmuration. Murmuration. M U R M E R. A T I O N, murmuration. I'm sorry, thank you. <laughs> axiomatic. It is nearly axiomatic that voters in an election typically prefer the more likable candidate. Axiomatic. Could you repeat that? Certainly. Axiomatic. It is nearly axiomatic that voters in an election typically prefer the more likable candidate. Axiomatic. Can I have that repeated one more time? Certainly. Axiomatic. It is nearly axiomatic that voters in an election typically prefer the more likable candidate. Axiomatic. Axiomatic. A C C I O M A T I C axiomatic. I'm sorry, thank you. Whew, that was a tough one. I don't know about you guys, but these words are, are real tough, right? We use them every day in our everyday language. You guys rocked that. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Okay, if you're joining friends or family, one more clap for them, please. Goodness sakes. Again, you guys did an amazing job. Okay, do you guys have any questions before we get started? Okay, are you ready? All right. Phosphorescent. It's called the magic lake because of the phosphorescent algae that cause it to glow at night. Phosphorescent. Phosphorescent. P H O S. P H E R S no uh, E R E yeah I'd like to restart um, okay phosphorescent P H O S P H U R E S P H A N T. I'm sorry, thank you.
Ready, sir? Thank you for your patience. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to leave you up there. Conch. The conch shells would have come from Florida. Conch. Conch. C O N C H. Conch. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. Number 15, if you'll go back up. We're going to give you one more word. Ready? Okay. Oracle. The ancient Greeks would go to Delphi to consult the oracle. 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 O-R-A-C-L-E. Oracle. That is correct. Thank you.